peace and blessings, you guys. This is your boy, JX Flex, back at it again, man. So, I'm on my way to work, and um, I just want to briefly, quickly, I just want to briefly give you something that just hit me on a lot of things. And on this journey for self-mastery of yourself, and I mean is to be the ultimate potential of yourself, and being disciplined to turn away from your sins. You got to understand God didn't give up on you. When you miss gratitude and being humble with yourself. And you realize how many mistakes you made. And you wake up out of your bed and start reflecting off the things that you've done that was wrong. God never gave up on you. Man. You got to really. It's like. Once you come out of that, that anger phase, that depression phase, that emotional phase, because we get angry at times about the way our life ain't really what it really is. And we want things to go the way how we want it to be, but it turns out it may not be for the greater good. I mean, it may not be in what God's time and planning is. You're just going through that for a moment, for a season to learn to learn that lesson in life. That's serious. In times that we go through moments in our life, we go through so many problems and stuff, and we look at other people's success, and we look at ourselves compared to their life and ours. Stop comparing it. When you go through your journey, your spiritual journey with God, that's the spiritual journey that's specifically for you and him. I know you see other people getting success. You see other people getting married and having kids. You see people having getting a house. Talk about they getting a house. And you see other folks actually getting money and being successful and being happy. And on their flow and on their purpose. And you're looking at your life while you're trying to fix it. And you look at like how 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 did I get to this place that I'm at right now? Oh man. It's a moment. It is a moment. You want to figure out how you got to the place where you at right now. Like I said before, relapsing and moving forward with your life. It's, it's trying to fix everything that you've done wrong from debt to bills to figure out a place to live, figure out a place to stay. You know, I'm going to tell you all this. God... God don't quit. He didn't quit on you. And I'm going to tell you this, guys. He didn't really quit. He don't quit. I want you to understand this way. When you're... When you learn about... When you already do all that female nature... And you already looking at women and stuff... That's not part of what semen retention really is, guys. It's about being your self-discipline and finding your true self and your purpose. Never be afraid. God didn't put the spirit of fear in us, man. He really didn't. He really didn't. I just want to encourage you guys today for this little morning. This morning thought that just came in my heart, man. Shoot. When you look at... When you get up out of your bed, you win the battle. It's time to work on the present. You see these hands? I'm grateful I got these hands. Because somebody out there don't have them. Gratitude is part of your key to success. Along with discipline. How does this relate to receiving retention and holding yourself? It's a lot. I think that most, a lot of guys in this community, in the semen retention era, they have got to a point where I could say, by 
understanding the discipline, the concepts of it, they understand by putting it forth with work and gratitude. Gratitude. <laughs> I learned that from a whole lot. I learned that from my old lady. There's a lot with gratitude. When you have that in a positive mind frame, don't worry about the past. I understand. Sometimes the past is the past keeps you depressed when you think about what you should have could have would have done and the future's got anxiety where you just too anxious for it enjoy the present man be grateful i'm grateful i got eyes man i'm grateful i can talk some people can't that's positivity man that is positivity out the woodwork a lot of people are good at what they do. But guess what? They have taken as much L's or even more to get where they at. You see what I'm saying? If I had to tell somebody and, and somebody look at me if I was and I'm successful. How you get successful? I took a lot of L's to get the, get that one W that beat it all. All my L's created a big W. So, <laughs> so, what you talking about? I made a lot of L's. I did this, I did that. People say this about me, this about me. But they want to they wanna be around my W. And I know right now when God blesses you, you just keep that, you just keep that blessing between you and God. And people going to start seeing you winning. They want to be around your W. And I'm going to understand, and I'm going to tell you guys this way before I go. Look around your company that you keep. As the old saying goes, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Understand who was there for you when you round your L's. When you take your L's, look at the people who's around you. And when you get that W, look at the people who wasn't there for you taking those L's. Now they be around your W to move off of. That's what I'm going to say. Stay grateful, you guys. I'm going to be coming up on the next couple of videos today. I'm going to do two. This will be like a Friday. Be a bat to bat. Two more videos. I'm going to talk about some stuff. A little bit more of what the power of sexual transmutation and semen retention can do. And I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> You're not alone, guys. Keep it up. Flex up. Stay positive.